Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover. Right now, of course, we're using the No Step Back DLC, but Poland is gone. But the Baltic Socialist Republic is looking not too bad, and we are using now player led peace conferences as well as colored buttons because why not? But like I said, Poland's not looking too good. Um, Germany, eh, well, in Italy, you know, and the, and the French are. Well, it looks like the Allies have invaded. It. The common turn is over here, too. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, not bad. That is the French Commune. The Allies have already done D-Day in November of 1939. And for the most part, we're just kind of, hello, holding out. Um, Anti-Soviet -so path. Okay, then. Okay, well, that's a little late for that, but all right. And you know what? I'm totally the gay okay if the Germans want to attack our lands like crazy. Uh, well, that's not good for those groups down there, but you know, whatever. Got some comments to go through, such as, We should do a democratic path sometime for Lithuania. I completely agree. We totally should. Uh, what is this? Rebuild the Vilnius Forts. If you want to do that again, please go right ahead. Yeah, let's see what's over here. Uh, oh, wow. Holy crap. Thank God for the Allied fleet, because we would have lost everything there, probably. Ooh, don't lose all of Poland now. That's not smart. Don't lose all of Poland. Let's get Plock, because that would be a really good place to defend as well. Over that river, the bridge. A very nice place to defend. Um, yeah, they're pushing the Soviet boys. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Not too much, but just a little bit. Can you guys actually go there, maybe? Oh, that'd be so nice. See... Seedless? Seedless? I don't know how to pronounce that. Go in and in, boys. See what y'all are up to. And Japanese Shogun declared war on Communist China. Wait, is Communist China with us? Uh. Uh, Finland. What are you doing? What are you guys are doing? Actually, isn't that. That's in our focus tree, too. Um, the Finnish invasion. Finland is to us a lost brother bound by the shackles of capitalism. Only by ro violent revolution. Can Friendly be free just as the Baltics have been freed? Uh, I'm not sure if we're supposed to get them or not, but we'll see. Push those Jerry boys out. Oh, we're not winning down. Now we are. No, we aren't. Yeah, no, we aren't. Build Vilnius Forts. Um, I guess we could do that one. Ask, ah, do it anyways, because why not? Eh, let's keep going with prepared defenses, because why not? Good. Alright, so stop attacking for now. You guys can't really get over there. Poland is not lost, but. They're doing okay. Oh. Well, oh crap. Why'd you call us into this war? So how do we still keep doing... we keep doing our focus to go to war then? Hmm. Odd, but okay. Alright, whatever. Ooh. Oh, we lost four allied convoys. Well, that's alright, whatever. After this one... Well... A path to the North Sea. A danger remain woefully neutral in this escalating global conflict. And the Straits of Denmark are all that separate the socialist world from the North Sea, but unchained our education. Lithuanian education system has long been restricted by desperate population centers, but now with rural folk moving closer to the cities, we shall be more capable of efficiently educating the Lithuanian youth with proper socialist, communist, Stalinist values. What if we were to take this... Well, I kind of expected that one to happen. What if we take the railroad? We've been working on the railroad all these gosh darn days. Would, they, would that affect their supply limit or anything like that? Maybe. Oh, they're attacking us. Oh, yeah. Warsaw would be nice. Actually, how much compliance? They have a little bit of compliance down there. Oh, it's still getting... Oh, resistance to chaos. That's not good. Um, we got that railroad, which is pretty nice. Um, hmm. We'll see what happens, because the Germans... Well, they're doing okay. They already pushed out all the French commune pe people. D-Day has happened, and they're getting pushed out, but they did another D-Day. Uh, this doesn't look too good either down here, too. It's definitely a mixed bag. It's definitely a mixed bag. What happened in 1940, everybody? Let's get some uh, research speed. Oh, hello. Oh, that's not good. Please don't lose. Quite literally, please don't lose. Um, Tarun. Do we have any upgrades here for all for any of our guys? Oh, yeah, we do. But not really. Alright, China's killing China, which is pretty normal. We need way more guns, though. Wowzers. Way more guns. Don't really have too much to spare, though. Not really. Um, and if it's only one division, you should be able to win right there, right? Right? Uh oh, oh, that's not good. You know what? If anything, defend all the way up to there, ish. You know what? You can have support the attack. You should be fine doing that. Should be fine. Should be fine. What? We lost that? How? Bros. Help them out. See what you can do. Get in there. We kind of need this towel. God dang it. What? What? The British Soviet War? What the heck is that? I'm not going to go to war with the British. What? Oh god, no, 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 no. Alright, so you guys just hold out then. Relax and hold. Everyone hold. 
Uh, sure, Mexican. Uh, another comment was, why do the Kami path? Because we can, and we'll do other paths later on as well. So I'm not too super worried about it, but we'll, we'll get there eventually. Oh, they're getting quite a bit of supplies there, too. Ooh, supplies really suck down here. Oh, that's our own ter territory, too. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I don't know how... Hmm. God dang, commies. Why can't we just defend here easily? Actually, what are we missing besides this stuff? Um, theater training, terrain, XP chance, uh, new defense leader. I'll go tenacious defense, why not? Why not? Just hold, hold, hold. Oh, anything here? Sure, you can become infantry, infantry specialist, that's fine. Don't really care too much. We got a little more PP now. Um, probably military theorists would be good. More stability would be very nice as well. Uh, compassion, gentlemen. Stability is very nice and crap. But we'll go military theorists because we do want to make sure that we can do this stuff pretty easily. Oh my god, can you, you went to war with them and you're not doing anything against them. Guys, please. Please. Let them just keep nailing or just wailing against us. We've lost 92,000. Got plenty of manpower for now. We've killed off 160,000, so that's not too bad. Oh my god, Soviet guys, please do not lose that many German, to, that many to the German boys yet. Oh my goodness. This is uh, our proper territory, so please leave. I'd like to switch that out, but we don't have the means to, and we need as many guns on the field as possible, as fast as possible, so unfortunately we won't be able to do anything about that. But sure, let them keep killing us. See what happens. Anything else? About a million manpower. They're on extensive conscription. They're still attacking us like crazy. I like it. A finished invasion. And education. Anything else here? Nope, just guns. Alright. Wherever we're at, we should be able to, in theory, hold. But unfortunately, our allies have exposed our lines. So that really sucks. By weakening our own line, though, that we should be able to help... Defend better. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. More soft attack, yes. Slightly more soft attack. Please hold the line, guys. Please hold the line. Please don't lose too hard. Can you move any slower? Probably. How are the Germans able to push in here so fast? Like, I don't understand. The German war economy just sometimes a little bit too crazy. Or is it the Soviet one just sucks? Maybe a little bit too hard? I don't know. Holy crap, the fall of Kiev. Holy smokes. Of course, we did take some Soviet boys, too, but still. How are we able to hold out and they're not able to hold out, man? I don't understand. Italy, we've killed off not that many. Huh. As long as we can hold the line, hold the line. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ, why does the Soviet Union suck so much? They're like Germany when they went to war with way too many people. Actually, are they getting invaded on this side, too? No, they're not. That's good. Um, yeah, this is, this is extremely concerning. I think the German AI is a little bit too strong right now, at least compared to the Soviets. The Soviets just, just suck. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, at least Germany went to war with Luxembourg. Huh. Yeah, because this is this this is not great. It's not great. It's not great, man. Please don't attack if you don't need to attack. I mean, overall their lines are being really stretched thin, which is good and all, but still. Yeah, there goes Belgium. We're going to need a, We're still actually not in that massive of a deficit of guns, still. You guys are really trying to... Hello. Get more Poland back. Please. We want them Poles back. More Poland. Muy bueno. Okay, go back in, boys. Oh, look at that. Oh. But this is really nice for more land auction. More soft attack. Very good. Hello. Who's invading us? Oh my god, please no. Please no. Please Great Britain, no. Still holding here. Still holding somehow. Waiting for someone else to get leveled up here. Oh, almost an infantry leader too. That's nice. That's good. Very good. Yeah. Oh man, this is disgusting. Like, how, how are you still holding out here, man? You can circle a lot of. Well, maybe not. Go right there and then go right there, but. Uh, we'll see. How much, oh, well, there's another D Day. And they're actually doing not too bad over there. It has got a little bit of manpower left. France got a little bit of manpower left. You guys have been slowly losing more. UK's doing okay. I love all these colored buttons, though. It's really nice. At least the assault has stopped somewhat. Thank God, though, Allies of. God, I hate the Allies so much. I hate the Allies. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me, bro? 
No, they claim Greek Italy. That's Greek, oh, they have Greek territory. You guys, oh, army offense. More division attack, specialist organization. Up for organization, honestly. Go logistics. That's really good. And infantry experts not too bad either. Hey, not bad. Just in case they want to stay here. God dang allies. Ugh. Disgusting. Disgusting allies. Uh, more war support, honestly, would be really good. So we get some more defensive core territory and such. So, Yeah, the goal is not to push too much. And hopefully this is chewing up a lot of their, their goods, their, their stockpile of equipment. Yeah, 50,000 not bad. They're out of artillery, which is good to see as well. Is that we're unfortunately out of guns. Yeah, we'll wait for that one. Arm of the Nation? Yeah. All across Lithuania, there are men ready to face the oncoming threat of a Soviet invasion, but lack the equipment to do so. We must ready our arms industry for the rapid production of infantry equipment. That would be so helpful to get. So, 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 so helpful. Yeah, because we're not looking too good right there, but it's alright. Happens. Um, it is 1940. This guy's another too. Thank you. Not bad. What after that one, though? Defense of our nation? That one seems okay. Original designs. Invest in Baltic trade. A civvy. Eh. Aircraft is not too bad. Season means production. We get a whole civvy. And better consumer goods. That's not too bad. Well, we want to take this one after we do all this stuff over here, but whatever. The old government invited investors from overseas to exploit the labor of the Lithuanian people. We cannot continue to allow the hands of the proletariat to serve the foreign bourgeoisie masters, and all factories constructed by these multinational corporations must be taken into the custody of the Baltic Socialist Republic. Alright, well, at least we're still holding. Oh my gosh. And you actually did it. You actually almost connected it. You almost did it. It takes Sarajevo. You can connect these guys with a land route now. That would be really impressive, actually. Ooh, Belgium looking kind of thick, which I do like thick Belgians, but... Thick, tucky senpais. Can you actually take Gdania back? Maybe? Is that a definite maybe? Oh, and they proclaim Greater Hungary. Congratulations, you're Greater Hungary now. Can we go back in here? No! <laughs> no, with a happy face. Oh, that's so sad. Can we actually do it, though? No? Okay. I don't waste lives, I don't waste guns, we don't have extra guns. I'll just do be looking kinda nice, even though that's a lot of resistance, ooh. Why is this resistance so high? Because we don't have enough guns? Oh, we're actually doing better on guns now. Oh, they're attacking us. Oh, that's nice. What if you guys did that? How's Finland looking? Well, not much better, honestly, at all. <sighs> How much manpower does Hungary have? None. Italy has some. Oh, they went up to service by requirement. Germany is, has still some. France is running out, but they, don't, they have plenty. You guys are fine. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Well, that's definitely a standstill now. It kind of sucks. War bonds. Yeah, I think it'd be good. Let's go ahead and go from here to total mobilization, maybe, and then get women in the workplace. I think that'd be pretty good to do. So, And Bulgaria joins the Axis, which... Is not good for this over here. That's not good at all. Do we have enough? Yes, we do have a positive amount. Let's go and do this one too. Alright, so how are we going to break over this stupid river? Right here, probably. Can you guys do that? Maybe? What do we call it? Some extra reinforcements in. So we take that railroad to here. My goodness, we need more and more and more and more army XP. Actually, do want to go here to here to take Kustin. We like islands. See? Okay. Three, two, going. If you can take that tile, that'd be great. And circle, just it's only one division, but still. I'd like to go there too. Um, they might. Ooh, look at the divisions aren't feeling too good. They are. Hmm. Hmm. Now you should be able to take this tile, right? It's only one division. We should be able to do well, right? Right? No, no, sir. No, get the test a bit of towns out of there. Ooh. Hello. Hello. Who's that? Can you please not invade us, you pieces of garbage? If you're worried about strikes, please go right ahead. At this point, I'm just going to go ahead and do... Eh. Ooh. Actually, let's get some... Proof working conditions for more stability, maybe? I guess. Why did you go to war with the Brits? Why? It makes no sense. But arm the nation with... Bulgaria, no. Season means production. I guess it was like foreign investments. Oh, look at that. 
Actually, what about first? Since we rely, we've been relying on other nations for trade and military support since the inception of our state, and it'd be foolhardy of us to abandon that now. We must attract foreign investments to our nation if we were to once again survive the onslaught of Germans, Russians, and allied forces encroaching on our borders. Why not? Well, everyone, welcome to October 1941 to the mess that is uh, the people's, uh, Polish People's Republic. But because other cops included, we should play as Kaiser Redux as the French exiles in due Napoleon's path. When are, we, when are we going to do that? That's a good question. That's a very good question. I'm not really sure. And then go a monarchist path with Lithuania for the lit achievement. Yeah, eventually. As you can see, though, we're fighting the Allies and Turkey's joining the Allies and that's not too good for us, especially since the Soviet Union can't do anything here. Correct, but and we've also lost a lot of territory in the Ukraine. But, the Allies did invade Rome and take Rome and Greece and stuff like that. So, even though they're our enemy, we're still doing okay-ish. Oh, also, Ching China rebelled against Japan. And Japan joined... Non-aligned Japan joined uh, Axis still, so... But overall, we're not doing too badly. Uh, the fight against the fence hasn't been going great, but... It could be going a lot worse as well. But, overall, um, at the time of recording, uh, if you have any sort of like... Okay, so early when I was playing, the game would lag extremely hard like it would take me like seven seconds to advance a single hour but then i changed from being in uh my version of hoi 4 to the one that has the op the latest beta literally the latest beta at the time it's recording it helps speed up and fix that bug so if you ever have a problem you know write it down in the comments let me know because that was really weird to have like we'd be going like a single speed literally while I was going five speed basically or even worse than that so it is what it is but here are the casualties we're doing really well against the germans uh, they take about two casualties for every one we took, so overall not too bad. Yugoslavia just does not seem to die. Of all things, Yugoslavia is just like, we're not dying today. And there's there's a fifth, not the first, second, third, fourth Portuguese Empire, but the fifth uh, Portuguese Empire. with, And then there's a the Spanish Empire as well, who actually, you know, I love it. I love the Spanish Empires here. This is one of the greatest things I think that we've seen um, that's not part of the Allies. Like, just for this fact. So we have the Axis, we have the Common Turn, we have the Allies, and then we have the Spanish Empire just doing their thing. So, could be a lot worse. Also, the AI is doing being very funky. Like, is this here? We've been in encirclement. It's only because the AI is, like, going and literally dotting between the lines. I think they're trying to rescue, like, the divisions down here in uh, Yugoslavia. Like, they'll literally just, like, beeline through. Yugoslavian divisions will beeline through here. And so it's causing all sorts of, like, problems for us, sort of, and the enemy. So, I mean, it's not bad in some cases. In some cases, it sucks that we get navally invaded, too, but... In another case, it's not too bad, but yeah, it's very weird. And I've had a force divisions out, so overall, not too bad though. I mean, my main goal is just to capitulate Germany, so yeah. But we're already in Berno. Go figure. We don't have enough divisions because the Soviets took back their divisions too. So overall, it's gonna be a lot worse. It's gonna be a lot, 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 lot worse. Even though we can't really advance in too many different areas here, which really does kind of suck. But whatever. You guys just go into here. Yeah, we're in Moravia already. And then I, I decided to restart re recording just because, um, well, as you can see, the Allies are doing really well in uh, that part of Germany. We probably won't get uh, Berlin, but whatever. Also, we were able to do these four focuses for some reason. We seek foreign investment, of course, with these guys. We, which, if you want to do this one, please go ahead. But Vilnius Ford Industry. Ford Motor Company has done a fine job mass providing uh, produce affordable motor vehicles to the Americans and other allied nations throughout the world. If we should establish a four hour manufacturing in Vilnius, we'll be able to provide both vehicles for our own army, make a tidy profit, exporting them to the West. And then. Foreign aircraft manufacturing. Average domestic aviation designs have been lukewarm at best thus far. So far, the Air Force has relied on aircraft seats from the Germans and Soviet forces, but we must begin domestic production of aircraft if we are to survive and help from a foreign air force, which may be the key to attaining victory, maybe? Vilnius Cross the Motors. With foreign investment now rife within our nation, production of automobiles and reasonable efficiency, you may be able to collaborate with a Cressley Motor Company to create original designs for use within the Lithuanian Army and increase allied shipments, which is really weird because we're at war with them. Since 1918, the Lithuanian army has been equipped with a shipment sent to us from the GB, and we should make efforts to make the Allies understand that unless shipments are drastically increased, Lithuania may become subject to another Soviet private government. Oh, that would be terrible, wouldn't it? Oh, so that's how we got to create a licensed production of infantry equipment. Okay. Because we got Swedish investments. So then, we did this one, and then we actually got a lot more stuff here. So, we actually, yeah, look at all that. We added minus three factories, but whatever. Overall, not too bad. Defense of our nation. Uh... Oh, original designs. I think you're this one as well. So if you want to do this one again, please go ahead. Yeah, this it's just been very funky here. Like, I don't understand how, like... The Germans are doing really well. The Turks are doing way too well. I mean, oh my god, this is... Uh, it's a little nerving. Unnerving. Well, Bulgarian reintegration camp. Okay, then. I just hope the Allies do really well in Germany, because once Germany dies, then it's over for pretty much the Axis. Um, we don't have enough divisions. 
We really just do not have enough divisions here. Can we just take, take Blue Pass? Is that is that possible and take Pex and just capitulate them? Can we risk it and try it? Well, I guess Tandutuba of all nations took Vienna. Go figure. This is a god-awful decision or idea. We're going to lose that division probably. Oh, hello. These guys are in mountains, which does suck, so... I do know I'd click on that one too, so we'll see. Maybe, okay. Well, we got Budapest. Hmm. Can you go around him, maybe? <laughs> Wait, does. We don't get any pop up that Hungry died? And this is exactly what I'm talking about. Look, we're already in Prague. Our, our, our lines can't, literally cannot keep up with what they're doing here. So, I'm not really sure what we can do about this, except continue encircling and destroying enemies. Because our guys are not that strong. Okay. We can try this. Uh, this is probably a really bad idea, but whatever. Oh, it's going to be so costly. Philippines are gone. These guys have been cut off. That's nice. He's going here. Just help support the attack. Go in. It's fine. A dawn of the a Asia Alliance. Look with Puyi and who else? The Asia Alliance. Wait, so now we're fighting Sin Kyung? They were in the common turn earlier. They're both puppets of Ching. Oh my gosh. Puyi. What type of dastardly. Oh my gosh, there's so much right here. Sorry, right, we needed to do something here to make sure that we can actually do okay. I'm glad we have all these guys in circle, though. That's actually really kind of nice. Go here. Let the Italians starve. No pasta for you. No more pasta. These guys are surrounded too. We're not really doing anything well against the Germans though, which does kind of suck, but I'd love, 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 love it if we could get to the Berlin before the Allies do. And this is ridiculous. I mean, the Soviets need a buff. They really need a buff or something. They're, they're, they're just not very good at all. Like, the industry is way too weak. I mean, I get that they're supposed to lose a ton of territory. A god off amount of territory, but I don't know. I just do think that they do need a buff some, of some sort. Some sort of buff. But, then again, I'm not Paradox, and they can do whatever they want, so. if Whenever I'm playing the Soviets, usually we can do pretty darn well. Usually. Not always, but usually. We're losing a lot of guys doing this. But, hey, we reached Yugoslavia. That's pretty good. I think that's, I'd say that's an achievement. After we saw how precarious this situation became. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Bros, please. How? Uh, anything up here? Yes. Oh, even less supply consumption. Honestly, supply consumption is not really an issue. Um, preferred tactic. It's infiltration assault. Recon. Nice. Aggressive reconnaissance. Why not? Because we can. Yeah, this, this line's not doing so well up there, isn't it? We have Vienna. We do have Vienna. Anyone want to kill these guys off? Yes, no, maybe so. Italy, Germany, we've suffered how many casualties? You guys win? Honestly, not that bad. Anyone want to kill this guy off too? How about this guy? Anyone have upgrades? Oh, yeah. You all want to become field marshals, huh? Oh, actually. Five and five. Nutrition assault, that's fine. Maybe I'll see what you can do about that. Maybe that'll help you out slightly more. We'll see. I don't know. Uh, other than that, we have women in the workplace. We've got total mobilization. We've got season, the means of production. Always nice to do that, you know. Always nice. Yeah, keep going in there. Uh, I want Berlin. I want that crown jewel. I want to take it. Is this dumb? Oh, you bet it's dumb. Is that all we need to capitulate them? Probably, honestly, probably not. No, I want it. It's alright. Where are you go? Oh my god. Where are you going? Like, I want... Okay. Uh. Why would you go all the way through? I don't, I don't understand the pathfinding for the AI anymore. Like, these are our divisions, too. If you're gonna go that way, you might as well go around and just go the E4 route, take Regensburg as well, and do that, too. I don't know. Something like that. Jesus Christ. Uh, it's still 41. Uh, fuel, maybe? Because we could use more fuel, I guess. 
You just can't take Libera, can you? That's so sad. Bro. If we could, we would make you force defense. Force attack, force defense, whatever it is. We lost a lot of guys. Okay, so, okay, please, please. They're just Germans. The AI scheming here just it makes no sense. <laughs> we got all the way to flipping Italy. Oh my god. <laughs> Your divisions <laughs> doesn't make any sense. Ah, uh, we got him eventually too, but whatever. Oh, this is so bad to do. Seriously, how can we not take these guys? They're not even on a mountain. It's on a hill, and they're starving. Ah, I see. We'll go right here. Here, there you go. That's probably a little better. Vice Salzburg. Uh, oh, we lost Vienna. Darn it. Honestly, we need more divisions. Pop them out. We turn this into one gigantic mess. I don't know how we push into Venice. How do we push into Venice here? Where are their divisions? Oh, they're all up here. We're, we're getting Romania back because they did capitulate earlier. Before you know it, we'll be in Rome. Oh my god. Can you actually win that? Okay, thank god you won. Oh my goodness. Can I just poop out more divisions, please? War bonds would be nice. What are we making? Road. <laughs> oh, God. Just roads? Is that it? Yeah, Vienna. It is, once again, a frontline city. Oh, I knew we were going to lose a couple divisions here and there, but... Oh, my goodness. Why are the allies slowing down? For the love of God, please. Go here. Well, the Lutheran circled. Oh my god, I hate this so much. Strikes? No, get out of here. I hate strikes. We're communists. We're, we're authoritarian communists. Why do we get strikes? This isn't like TNO when we're playing Central Siberia and we have the Siberian plan and people get pissed off at us. Defense of our nation, though. Civilian industry is of equal importance to our defense as the arms industry. The steady hum of machinery will drone throughout all of Lithuania as its patriotic people do the duty to industrialize our nation. Well, hopefully. We get encircled, they get encircled. It's a it's a game back, back and forth, you know. If you want to move, actually, and be useful, go there. Well, we're certainly beating them down quite a bit. Hey, we got these guys here, too. Not bad. Hey, Berlin! No, they capitulated! Oh, God, no, not the Allies! Oh, God. Oh, God, not the Allies. Please, anything but the Allies. We need, oh, we have to get Japan too? Oh, uh, no, I'm not going to war. I'm not taking out Japan. I don't think I My main goal is... It, oh, hello. I'm not looking good for it. How is it? Um, that was my main goal. Just taking out... Uh, uh, Germany. And I don't want to fight the Allies. I don't really want to, so... By technology sharing, we produce many of our partners' equipment already, but perhaps by studying their designs, we shall be able to significantly improve native and Lithuanian designs. I refuse to take out the stupid little Italians. Yeah, no, they, yeah, this is this is a giant mess. But I think I feel pretty accomplished about this. That's all I want to do is take out the Germans. Hey, let's get read a couple more focus. Invest in the Baltic trade. Follow Berlin again. The Baltic Sea is rich with trade from Scandinavia, Germany, and Russia, and all our ports can scarcely contain them all. We must open up new trade lines with our friends who share the sea with us for a brighter and more prosperous Lithuania. In Baltic School of Aviation. During the Independence War, the war for superiority in the air and the seas were fought by the British on our behalf. But as the British continue to grant concession after concession to the Nazi menace, we cannot trust that they will defend us again, and we must take to the air ourselves. Complete the armament. Now that the moderni modernization of our industry is complete, and we have countless domestic and military industrial organizations operating within our country, the Lithuanian arms industry may finally live up to its true potential. Someone's giving a speech. In the path of the North Sea, the Danes have remained woefully neutral in this escalating global conflict, and the Straits of Denmark are all that separate the socialist world from the North Sea and end Swedish neutrality. What the Swedes call neutrality is nothing but weakness, bending to the whims of whichever power, power seems most powerful at the time, with little regard for the well-being of the lower classes across their borders. Such a weak world and flimsy government is unworthy of sharing a border. We must create a new Sweden with a spine to defend its people from tyranny. But I think that's pretty much going to be it for me. Um, let's take a look at the, the uh, you know, socialist route, communist route, for, uh, oh, do you have an upgrade? Uh, sort of. Socialist route 4, 
Lithuania, which is very, 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 very similar to the one with uh, Estonia and Latvia. But honestly, I think we've gotten pretty much as far as we possibly, possibly can with the Asian Alliance trying to kill us off, with the light pink Axis trying to kill us off, with the Allies trying to kill us off. People who have any shade of pink or, or red is just trying to kill us off at this point. But honestly, considering everything that we've done, it's I feel pretty good. I just... I'm disappointed in the Soviet Union because it's just not as strong as it probably should be. But, hey, whatever. If you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, 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 great rest of your day.